Let's quickly discuss the armor in this game, okay? We just got the new war bond, got the new armor pieces. Let's actually take a look at them as we're going to discuss this topic. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys what I think about this, okay? So for example, if you take a look at this armor, you'll see the armor rating 150, speed 450, stamina regen 50, and then you have increased throwing range by 30%, provides 50% limb health, right? Now, the problem I have with armor in this game, and I absolutely love this game, by the way, is that at this point, it feels like that the armor that comes with the war bond is more like cosmetic because we already have these passives across the board. There's nothing fresh that is dropping to the point that, oh, look at this passive. I'm interested. I'm going to use this over the old armor pieces, for example. That is just simply not happening. Armor pieces with the war bonds, ornaments, skins. That's what they feel like. Now, some of them are medium, heavy, light, whatever. But that's not the only problem that the armor system in this game has. For example, there should be a way bigger difference between heavy armor and light armor. Let me give you an example. If you're playing against the Terminates, right, and a hunter jumps at you and they hit you with a headshot twice if you're running light armor, most cases you will die, right? Boom, you're dead. Critical damage to the head, you're gone. Now, the first problem there is obviously that the helmets don't do anything against that even if you're wearing heavy armor which is a problem because when you're running heavy armor compared to light armor you lose approximately around 20 seconds of stamina when you're run even when you're running the stamina enhancement so usually you have th around 38 seconds when you're running light armor and then you switch to heavy and now you're running it around 20 20 seconds of stamina and in this game stamina means a lot and i mean a lot right so you want to have it as high as possible running heavy armor there's no justification for it because the difference between the damage you take is minimal. Like if you're in heavy armor and you get crit headed, or should we say just headshot headed two times, you won't die, but then another body shot will pretty much kill you. Even if it wasn't for a two headshot, one body, three headshots will kill you when you're running heavy armor. And compared to light armor, that gives you so much more stamina, it's just not worth it. It's just one extra hit. I feel like when you're running the heavy armor, what should happen is it should neglect 80% of incoming headshot damage or completely neglect it. And then medium armor neglects, let's say 60 or 70% instead of like only 10% less or 15% less or whatever they're trying to do. They shouldn't be afraid to push that because it would make it more interesting to create builds that actually feel like tanks. Then you combine all of that with a shield, for example, and now you feel so strong, right? Like you feel powerful, but there's a payoff there because you are slower, you have less stamina. And if you do want to run a heavy armor build against the Terminates, yes, you're going to have more survivability, in terms of taking damage but you will also be much slower right so there is a payoff there right now it's not worth it because there is no payoff like why are you gonna run it why why would you do that see what i mean i'd rather run light armor have six stims and just zoom across the map without any issues and if i want a little bit more survivability which by the way when you're running six stims you already have amazing survivability. It's incredible right now with light armor because it gives you crazy speed and survivability. And remember, it doesn't just keep your HP up. That's not the only reason we're running it. It's amazing because you have more stamina. You're, you're just running around way more, much easier. So it is an easy pick. And I feel like that really brings the game down in a way that the build crafting doesn't become interesting and engaging when it comes to armor, right? Obviously, stratagems, weapons, all those things can be extremely fun when mixed up, but armor build crafting isn't there yet. Now, I do believe they can fix this with literally some of the changes that I just mentioned and make it more valuable. And it's not something crazy that they need to do because there are some things as we just went over that could make the armors more interesting and more fun. On top of that, what they could do is maybe let us pick the passives and kind of switch them up a little bit, right? So maybe I want this heavy armor with this passive or something like that, or just make armor interesting in terms of if I'm running heavy armor, I also should be able to carry maybe one or two more magazines, right? In that case, there's an incentive, maybe one extra stim, maybe one extra grenade, or let's say light is the way it is right now in terms of how much you can carry. Then medium gives you one extra stim, one extra grenade. Heavy armor gives you two extra stims, 
two extra grenades and all of these little things will give these armor pieces value not just these set passives that are across the board on every armor it just looks different that's all it is now if that's what they're going for they should tell us guys we want the armor just to be like an ornament slash skin okay we get it you're not gonna change it but i think they are gonna change it in the future and once they do those little tweaks that we just mentioned could make the overall feel of the build crafting in the game way more in depth and way more fun and i hope they do it i really do maybe with the new war bond also have at least one new passive so at that point people are all also excited for an upcoming war bond not just for the weapons that by the way not all of them are all the time amazing right i'm talking about the weapons from these war bonds but if the armor is coming in with a new passive that's that's another thing to be excited about we're going to be discussing oh i wonder what it's going to be is it going to be against the slow against the terrain against hunters is it going to be good against bots whatever it is and then you just slap it into one of your builds and the game just freshens up because there's new elements to the game that literally change the way you play and how the game feels depending on which enemy you're fighting roland what's up man feeling great what about yourself Arc Armor is amazing when you have a whole team built around electric weapons. You can absolutely murder bugs in it left and right. The only issue are battle titans and the need for three friends, says Skywalker. Yeah, the Arc Armor was a great addition for sure. I, I like the Arc Armor. As you said, when you're running a full team of Arc, it's very useful. You don't have to worry about it. You can just spam it, move as a unit, and pretty much decimate everything in front of you with Arc Throwers, Blitzers, Tesla Towers, whatever it is you want to bring, right? It's it's a fun armor piece for sure. So they need to add more stuff like that that creates a different kind of loadouts and builds in the game. And I feel like the game is missing that. It's a huge part of build, build crafting in any game where there are like stats, passives, all those kind of things. It's a huge part of it. And in this game, it doesn't feel like it right now. So I'm hoping that they will rework this in the near future anyway that is my thoughts about armor in helldivers 2 make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as you guys know i i answer as many comments as possible so i would love to hear your thoughts let's go let's go baby let's go i mean we literally have the best community of all time oh oh we got no scopes <laughs>